taking a look at the Xerxes Pi, this is a Fusion model that we exported right out of uh, KiCad. And so this is just like a, a real kind of 3D simplification of the board right now. And so we're just going to make that CM4 visible here. The cool thing about this form factor is that it's one third of the nano ITX form factor. So it's 40 millimeters high and it's 120 millimeters long. And if we have a look at the width of it, we could see that it's quite narrow without the heat sinks. We actually designed the heat sinks for the next board. This is the, the older prototype. So, um, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys what the heat sinks would look like uh, or what we're kind of the general idea of where we want the heat sinks to go. So we've got this that we'd like to print or CNC. We're either going to CNC out of it aluminum or we're going to print it using the Ice9 Poly um, 3D filament. Uh, and so that's going to disperse some of the heat off of the top there. And we kind of plan on having it be having it use the four screw mounts for the uh, CM4, CM5. And we've already tried that with some standoffs and it seems to be working pretty well. But we also added two additional mounts for um, the M.2. And speaking of the M.2, we're gonna look at the back here as well. And um, we also wanted to do some kind of heat management on this back side as well because if you use an AI accelerator you're gonna give you know have have quite a bit of heat coming off there so we decided to try this design as well and I've already mounted uh, a 3d placeholder to see how it all fits together um, with various m.2 boards and it seems to be working pretty well so far um, of course the the next prototype is going to differ quite a lot from this one so that's going to prompt a redesign as well but we kind of wanted to move forward with what we had um, just to see how things fit together. And so in addition to, you know, both of these heat sinks kind of uh, adding to the girth of this board, we wanted to see how many we could fit in a mini rack mount. And so we got a whole bunch of them together and we designed a rack mount. And here we can kind of see that we can fit um, about six uh, in a, now this is a 10, this is a, uh, for a 10 inch mini rack mount. And so we kind of wanted to see how they fit together. So I've already 3D printed this and it, it's, it's working pretty well. I'll show you that at the end of the video. Um, but if we just do a quick cross section, we can kind of see um, where how this is how this is going to work. So we've, as you can see, we've got the um, each one of these Xerxes pies is just basically fitted right inside this slot, and so we do have a back plate. So the back plate just gets screwed into the back here. And I'll show you what that back plate looks like. I'll just hide these pies. So the back plate is just basically a plate that you 3D print separately um, to the front plate. So there's only two prints that you do. So one for the back plate and this back plate you would print separately and then one for the front right here. And the way I printed it was on its face. So I printed it down like this diagonally on my, on my 3D printer. And no supports needed because each one of these grills is 30 degrees. And just two prints, back plate, top section, and uh, you've got a really nice inexpensive rack. And you can fit six of these quite comfortably. I'm going to see if I could fit seven. So I'm going to see if I could maybe trim down some of the heat sink on each of the boards. 
and uh, see if I could squeeze another one in because it we do have a bit of space on either side uh, to be able to do that but I wanted to 3d print this first and see and just get a feel for how they all fit together and I'll show you that video next hey so here's the final 3d print and we can see here that we've got the Xerxes Pi in the first slot no backplate on this but I did wanted to use a transparent PLA just so I could see through and make sure everything's fitting nice and tight uh, maybe it is a bit too tight I might put in half a millimeter on either side just to give it some some more space because it is you know I mean you could slide it in but it is a bit a bit tight um, I think half a millimeter on either side should give it the play that that we need and we might do some TPU caps just to cover the holes that are not in use. And this one doesn't have the back plate on it, but there is a back plate you could screw in. Uh, this took about 10 hours to print. Not a lot of filament. Um, I just used PLA on this, but on the finals that will be for sale, I'll be using nylon on the, on the rack. And this will be open source. So if you guys want to print it out yourselves, go for it. Really excited to get this Kickstarter going. Thanks, everyone. Would love to hear your feedback. Cheers.